Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to Ryerson Adaptive Design Studio's instructional videos. Um, today we're going to look at some simple cutting techniques. Okay, so, cutting, scoring, and joining. Um, using a good utility knife with a sharp blade, because sharp blades cut much more safely than dull blades, um, you always want to cut on an angle to your body, so in case that blade slips, um, it'll slip past you and not cut you. You want to securely uh, make sure that you're holding the piece of cardboard against the cutting surface, and you want to cut firmly. Now, you don't have to cut all the way through on your first cut. Uh, you can do what is called a guide cut by scoring in halfway through the cardboard. Um, that'll give you a, a place to cut, and you just drag the blade across again, and there you go. That's a really easy, simple way to cut. Um, scoring, however, is really useful in other ways. Um, you can, if you're scoring on purpose, you can keep your blade out, or you can retract it a little bit, so that you have less of a blade to work with, and you, in scoring, you just want to concentrate that you're not cutting all the way through the piece of cardboard, you're just cutting through basically the top layer. And then you can use that cut uh, to bend away from the cut if you want to, or you can even bend towards it. Oh, always make sure when you put your blade down to retract that blade. So you can bend in towards that blade and make a really nice, clean corner there, too, if you were uh, making a box or something like that. Um, so that's one really amazing use of scoring. Another amazing use of scoring is uh, if you wanted to fit two pieces of cardboard together. Say you wanted to make a join here, you could just trace that piece of cardboard so that you've got the correct width, and then score along those marks lightly through those layers. away those layers. I'm just going to use this pencil, but you can use a piece of wood or a uh, screwdriver works really well too if you can't peel it away with your fingers. Just make sure that you can get as much out of there as possible so that you have a clear channel slide that other second piece in, and then um, you can glue it in. When you're working with uh, laminate, you can go down a couple of layers and really securely fasten something in, and uh, you can attach it in another way too that I'll show you later using dowel nails is something that we use here at the Adaptive Design Studio. Um, so that's another thing that you can use scoring for. And then, um, it, say you wanted to, uh, you were doing something more sculptural and you wanted to make a bunch of bends, using your blade to score a whole bunch of lines really close together. You can get a very articulated bend bending away from the, uh, the cuts. You can see how I'm like ap applying pressure underneath as I'm pulling against the cut like that. You can get a really articulated bend uh, if you were doing something more sculptural. So, there are a few uses of scoring and cuts um, to make really articulated bends, to join pieces together, 
and to make folds, folding away from the cut and folding against the cut to make that really clean corner.